Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is once again Gundam Breaker 2, and this is my Wing Gundam Proto Zero. Um, since I spent most of the week setting this up for the uh, run with uh, Seraphic Zero yesterday, I didn't really get anything else set up as a request. Fortunately, someone has requested the uh, Proto Zero, so I'm gonna jump ahead on the list and get that done. To be honest, there's a lot of other things on the list I don't have enough parts to do yet, so. It's all there, I'm doing it as I get bits, and you will see it all, so. But I have it set up with Zero System as it's a square button EX action. Uh, I have the fee f Feed Forward module, excuse me, not the Fee FIFO Thumb module, to uh, try and uh, keep it from flinching. Some loaders to help uh, recharge uh, some of the modules and things, hopefully quickly. Uh, the option weapons, that is, which are Self Destruct, Beam Saber, and Machine Cannon. I don't know if that affects the reload speed of standard weapons, too. I hope it does, because the Buster Rifle recharging quicker would be nice. But let's try and find a stage that this will not, like, flatten in five minutes. Um, actually, oh, that would be murderous. That would be murderous, too, but slightly less so. Let's try this one. It's a defense mission that... You know, lasts a certain amount of time no matter what, so... Yeah, we're gonna jump the queue a little bit to Gundam Cafe 12 just to show the thing off. I hope I'll be up to this. If not, you'll never see this recording and I'll do a better one. But, let's give it a try. Proto Zero is pretty nice. You know, it's kind of a midpoint between TV show Wing Gundam Zero and... Uh, Endless Waltz Wing Gundam Zero. So, sadly, the, right, the real TV show Wing Zero, not in the game, but at least not yet. Okay, first off, neat thing about the Buster Rifle, I'm just going to use my, uh, whatever the upgrade of Stinger Shot is uh, to open. Also, the kick, the dive kick there is a really good EX for that if you, when you're using a Beam Saber, because you can follow that launching move with it, and that's pretty effective. But, okay... The Buster, Twin Buster Rifle can work as a sniper weapon like that, or it can do that. It can do one other thing, which I will show you if we end up surrounded in just a second, which I think we will. Wave 2. Wait for it. Oh, that looks good. Yes, it can do this. The Rolling Buster Rifle. Just hold L1 after jumping, and then lose parts, because you get run over by a Mammoth Gundam. Turn on Zero System. Oh, I kind of need the rest of my parts back. I was actually able to kill something because I used the machine cannons as an option part, and they're on my chest, which I actually had attached, so... Okay. This is a tough one, as you can see. That was just luck. That was the wrong target. The machine cannons are pretty strong by virtue of this torso being level 18. Which, again, I did to maximize the self-destruct damage. and Probably not going to see me using self-destruct much in this one, because it's a little bit, uh, you know, as you saw, difficult to use against powerful targets. Ah, oh, Versago chest break. So, let's go after that. There's that. What's Gaius? Okay. Oops. When you're already in the air, though, it does you no good to use the dive kick because you will just uh, dive futilely back at the pavement from, you know, a height of nothing like I just did. So. Let's use this because I'm about to run it, run out the clock anyway. Okay. Yeah, I've also upgraded every skill on every part to level 7. So, went through a lot of ability battery level 1s and 2s to make that work. So, uh, spin. And I went right into my dive kick. Not because I expected to do as much damage as it did. It did pretty well. But... I, what I expected to do is render me invulnerable for a second and 
keep the mammoth Gundams that survived the attack from trampling me. So, in that sense, it was a success. But yeah, it moves as fast as it does because I've upgraded all the various thruster upgrades on the backpack to level 7. Oh, Jammer. Short-lived Jammer. Hi, Gog. Short-lived Hi, Gog. But yeah. So, you know, a, a stock factory default wing zero, a proto zero, will not be quite this good. So be warned, if you're expecting, like, super high performance, you will have to spend for it, as is usually the way. But, even the default is pretty nice, so, especially when you don't, you know, jump off the table and dive at nothing. Okay, what's next? Let's activate the zero system, and we've got crossbow X1. And it's standard X1, not X1 Kai Kai. You can tell, no, no skull on the chest. There we go, let's roll. And let's Gaius. And it's about the satellite cannon, so I want to be, ah, killing it. I was about to say standing behind it, but killing it, also a good option. Gotcha. Okay. Next. Come on, before my Gaius runs down. Oh well, sorting. To no effect. Oh well, I tried. Okay, gonna turn around and bust a rifle an elephant or two. As you can see, the charge shot on the Buster Rifle is pretty much stationary, so against moving targets, it can be not as useful as you might like. Stunning things first works really well for the Buster Rifle as much as it does the self-destruction, so you may want to consider using the Epion's Heat Rod as a main weapon. Because it will give you a better chance of actually connecting. Okay. Scale jammer. Beams for the scale jammer, and we're done. And so it's that Shenlong that just attacked me. So, I feel rolling coming on. One, two, three, four. That's everything. And you can cancel out of the rolling buster rifle, but it always overheats your weapon. So, you may as well just let it run its course once you've started it, because otherwise you're just wasting the charge. Okay. Let's Gaius. That was a great shot. That. I kind of brushed its backside, but not enough to actually do damage. That's a shame. Okay, the X divider is divided. One, two, three. Not quite enough. However, oops. Well, if, if all else fails, use fire. Okay, is there an ace? Ah, I got a X divider backpack. Very nice, in master grade, no less. Another jammer. This is a ranged weapon jammer, which leads me to believe we will probably be seeing mobile fighters very soon. Uh, rolling. Didn't take out everything, but it came close. And anything it didn't take out, it left severely wounded. But yeah, besides self-destruct, the other options are a beam saber, which I probably ought to use because it's probably stronger than the one I've got in my hand. So let me try that. Let's see, is it stronger? Yes, I think it is, by a pretty good margin, so... Okay, that's one. Now, Gaius... Let's just slash.
one. Could I? Oh, no, I can't fire because my shooting hand fell off. Or actually my head did, which... I think you have to have a target lock to do this. A uh, little help, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is a high-level one, so you can get in trouble. There's the Sinanju gun, and that just leaves Mr. Gundam. Ah! Got a stab in, and beam it to death. Let's see. Ah, we get an ace, and here it is. What do we got? We've got Shining and Rising Gundams. His and hers matching Gundams. How sweet. Also, a lot of Mammoth Gundams and a lot of other stuff. We're going to roll. And Slash. And beam. That's one. And we're ready to Gaios again, so let's do it. Let's see, I think I got some interesting stuff there, so. Mission complete, I do believe. So. A bunch of carbon and such, that's not bad. And there we go. So yeah, that's Wing Gundam Proto Zero. Presumably, Wing Zero Custom will run a, a similar way. Of course, the regular Wing Gundam's uh, Buster Rifle is single barrel, so it probably can't do the rolling attack. But you probably get the idea. And didn't get a lot of new parts. You can see I've ranked up quite a bit since the recording you're uh, watching during the week. Uh, I've got Nobel Gundam's arms. Those are new. And also Gundam X Divider's Backpack and Master Grade, also new. So, okay, got a bunch of plastics I'm maxed out on. As you can see, I did a lot of level grinding to get Proto Zero together. More, more of that, though, that is good to have. More of one of the high-end carbons needed that. Psycho Frame Base H, Gundarium Base M, Gundanium Base M, Phase Shift Armor Base M, the Peacock Smasher HCAD chip, I can't remember whose weapon that is, but I know one of you guys will know, and thank you. Uh, rifle Base M2, Greatsword Base M2, Whip Base M1, Peacock Smasher MCAD. So I, whatever it is, I can make both of it. Shield Base M2, and six more Ability Battery 2s. So that is going to do it for today. We will be back with more of Gundam Breaker Story Mode come tomorrow. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later.